What's up Kiki Squad and welcome back to Simply Kenna. Today we are going to be talking about how to increase our subscriber count in 2020 or how to grow our channel in 2020. So I am a small YouTuber. I'm not like big, big yet, but I claim it in Jesus name. But then I, I was thinking, okay, should I wait until I get a bit more subscribers to talk on this topic? And then I was like, no, because there are persons who I have seen, they have um, a small subscriber count, maybe in the double digits, 23, 30 something, and they have been there for a while. And they really want to know, or they would love to grow their channel. So I'm like, if I hold out, it may not help them. And then I was recently looking at somebody else's YouTube channel and they were talking about how to grow your channel fast. And she isn't like in the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. And if she didn't put out that video, I would not have received the help that I did receive. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I am just going to do it. So I'm going to tell you how I, these tips worked for me. And some of these tips I have not tried, but I know that it worked for other persons. So it would be a mixture of what worked for me and what worked for other persons that I'll be telling you today. So how to basically grow your subscribers in a reasonable amount of time to fast, right? I'm going to be honest, having a YouTube channel could be very hard in terms of growing a channel, especially when it comes to the first thousand subscribers. For some persons, it's a breeze. They go on YouTube, especially if they have a very large Instagram following. They go on YouTube and within days, months, they have hit the 10,000s, hundreds of thousands. And then there are others who have been on YouTube for years and they're still, they have not even made the 100 mark. And I mean, what really is the formula for growing your subscribers? It really varies. But I'm just here today just to tell you what I have done and these tips. Uh, these things did help me grow my subscribers. I have them written down here, so I'm just going to be looking them from time to time, okay? <laughs> Post topics that are trending. Now, this is really, 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 really important. You want to stay up to date. So, for instance, right now, what persons are trying or have been trying, it's kind of going out a bit, but what persons were really trying was, if we're dealing with hair care or hair products, was the Taraji P. Henson product line. Everybody was doing the review on that. They were doing the review on the gel, they were doing the review on the sugar, the um scalp, um, what the thing is, scalp, I don't even know what to say, but the thing that you put on your scalp, anyway, they were just reviewing her products. Big YouTubers, small YouTubers, so that's just what everybody was searching. Everybody, that was what was trending about a uh, three, a few months back. That's just what was trending. Now, if that is what is trending, I suggest that, especially if you're in the hair, you're into doing hair, I suggest that you also do a review on that um, product line. So around that time, you would not be reviewing um, As I Am products or Lots of Body products or cream of nature products because you would not really get a lot of views persons won't really be typing that in and will be coming to your channel what they will be typing in is taraji p henson's products and persons who have been doing reviews on that they will get the views and they would also get the subscribers so stick to topics that are trending once it's within your domain so if you're into hair stick on trending hair products if you're into um couple challenges stick to challenges that are currently trending don't be back in time stick on what's actually relevant and current and up to date and i would share one i did that i remember sulfur there was the sulfur eight and do grow challenge hair grow challenge and someone told me about it and around that time it was actually trending and i decided i'm i realized i typed it in and i realized yo this is trending persons are actually doing this right now so i decided to do it i didn't do it with dugro i did it with blue magic because i didn't have dugro and that is probably my most viewed video and it also brought traffic to my channel 
because that's what everybody was looking at the do grow and the um sulfate hair growth challenge so because i was doing it at that particular time i was able to get a lot of views as well as subscribers so stick to something that is relevant and trendy second the videos that you do promote them on a social media platform i remember when i did my first few videos i just had them on youtube and my subscribers grew really 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 slow because nobody knew about me i started the channel um the only person who knew about me was probably myself my husband and some person who subscribed to my channel back then and i felt so discouraged and then my husband was like why don't you just put your put your um your stuff out on facebook put your stuff out on instagram and i was like to be honest initially i didn't really i was kind of uh what to call it a little scared i reserved to make posts and oh i have a channel at that particular time now i don't care but at the time you know i was like mm. and then i did it and then when persons realized she has a channel they were interested they started to look at it and then they subscribed and the subscribers kept on growing because persons on my facebook they were aware persons on my instagram they were aware persons on my whatsapp they were aware so i used all of my social media platforms to promote my videos you have to see your channel as a business and you are the marketing person so even though you have something really 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 great if no one knows about it like what's the use so you have to promote it so use your social media platform you have a new video coming out put it up on your army um, instagram put it up on your facebook just a little snippet the most captivating part of it what i would do for instance example i did this hairstyle i'm not going to put the entire video on facebook or the entire video on instagram i would just put a clip of my hair to let them see it and then kind of tease them a bit and then tell them to go on my channel to see me actually doing these so just step into those marketing skills and use the social media platform it's it will like not even might it will assist you greatly ask your friends and family to share or repost your videos now this is very important you would get a lot of persons one per, once persons know about your channel you will get a lot of persons on your facebook and your instagram however you would already exhaust that um avenue because it's the same person that would be seeing it the same persons that would be seeing they just for instance if you have a hundred persons on facebook the same hundred persons would be already know you have a channel and those who want to subscribe would subscribe those who choose not to would not so what would happen it would just keep your views consistent and let persons know that you have a new video but you're not going to get any new subscribers per se so you need a different outlet you need someone else to assist you so ask your friends ask your family i'm married i ask my husband to put it up on his channel and what i do sometimes i tag him in my um if i have a, a little snippet that i put it on facebook i would tag him in it so that his people could see my content and then there are times that he would post it himself i've asked my brother i've asked mm, my lips are dry i've asked my sister-in-law um i've asked i've asked friends to post to share and some persons do it without me even asking at all and one person recently told me that they share my videos to their students and they, they tell their students parents about the video um i think that was particularly re related to the weight loss video and i felt so good i'm like ah, i felt really really good and there are persons who just repost and i really appreciate those persons and so yeah but you need to ask you need to tell your friends or your family i have this new video or i have this my channel could you um share this or could you snap screenshot it put it up on your instagram put it up on your facebook let persons know that i have a youtube channel and could you tell them to subscribe watch my content we all need the help so there's no shame in just asking persons to help basically help your channel grow and that would assist significantly so imagine if you have 20 friends posting that you have a youtube channel and all of their social media 
um, platform. You know how many subscribers are going to come to your channel just because of that? Yes. Next, I will tell you to, well, I did this. I joined a Facebook group and I shared my content there. So Facebook group, because I was really into hair. Right now I dabble in everything. I do hair videos. I do challenge, a couple challenges. I do singing. I do everything. Anything that I feel like doing, I do. <laughs> right? I don't stick to one thing. But at the time, I was really just mainly into hair. And I went on, and weight loss. So I went on Facebook groups, and I joined weight loss groups. I joined intermittent fasting groups. I joined um, type 4 natural hair groups, curly hair groups, type 3 natural hair groups. And that did help me it brought persons because i would when i post my content and then you probably when persons say they'll be like oh how your hair grew so fast oh i want my hair to get as curly as yours oh um what products have you been using um uh, if it's weight loss how did you get so small and then you're able to direct them to your video and then after telling them that you could say um feel free to subscribe to my channel and a lot of persons subscribe to my channel because of the facebook groups however there is uh most groups are a lot of groups on facebook they are not very welcoming to youtube channel content because i guess they, they figure that we abuse the the platform so they are not really that welcoming they would say if you're a youtuber don't self-promote um or limit the promotion maybe to once a day or once a week so it depends on what group that you join read the what do you call it read the um the info before you join to see if this is really a group that you want to join if it doesn't allow you to just post and have a lot of restrictions then do not i currently don't do this anymore i did and it gave me a good bit of subscribers but i don't do it anymore because it became a bit exhausting and there was too many stipulations on what i could and couldn't do and i'm like i was happy for doing it i was happy doing it when i did do it i needed it at that time to grow my channel but at this point in time i don't need it anymore but if you are a small well i am a small youtube as well but if you're really really small like you're under 100 subscribers i would suggest joining facebook groups sharing your content there and asking persons to check out your content and to subscribe and this would grow your channel very fast as well right but i don't do it anymore from Mm, I don't feel it. It's exhausting now, so I don't need it now. But I needed it then. Next is do collabs. Now, this may not be possible for a lot of persons. However, if you're in a city, a district where you are friends with another YouTuber, you guys, and you have similar content, like I did i think i have one collab on my channel and that's with my crown of curls she's way bigger than i am right we both do hair related videos and it was just something thank god i that came to me you know we could do a video together now doing a video with a bigger youtuber would naturally bring traffic to your video because on your channel how much of subscribers you have they would be aware of the other person's content um channel and the post the other person their subscribers would now be aware of your channel that you have a channel so when you're doing a collab with this hair related or whatever i'll talk about here because that's that's what i do um like 60 percent of the times so when we did the collab she told her subscribers to check out my channel to subscribe to my channel and a lot of them did just because of that one collab right and i would suggest that you collab with someone that you're comfortable with someone that you like somebody's content that you actually do look at and i would also suggest that you collab with someone who you're subs you are a subscriber to because it would feel more genuine because now I'm going to tell my platform to go on their channel. And it will kind of be hypocritical to tell them to go on their channel if I myself am not even subscribed to them. So you don't want to become an opportunist. You, I mean, it's, 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 you're doing it to grow your channel, yes. But at the same time, you kind of don't want to be seen as an opportunist. Really be a genuinely, genuinely interested in the other person's content. Be interested in what they're doing. 
and I say it's as a win-win. Your subscribers are aware of their channel and their subscribers are aware of your channel. But that's one way to really grow your subscribers or grow your channel just by doing that. Just do giveaways. I have done a few giveaways on my channel since I have started YouTube and each giveaway has, each of them brought significant subscribers to my channel in every giveaway i would really really advise that one of the requirements is that they are subscribed to your channel to participate it makes no sense they participate and they're not a subscriber so any giveaway that you have let them know in order to be a part of this giveaway you first have to be a subscriber now this automatically, persons like getting gifts, persons, I mean, I love getting gifts. So I'm, I'm very sure persons would love getting gifts. All you do, you just tell them you have to be subscribed and then you can have one or two more rules, whether thumbs up the video or whatever it is you want to add to it. But make sure you tell them that they must be a subscriber. This would also carry up the subscriber count really, really fast. What I have, I believe, exclusive on my channel is a simply Kenna ambassador and as we all know ambassador is someone who works on behalf of somebody else and I God put this in my head like for real it was God I have this it's done yearly I started it last year I just finished it this year and shout out to Shazzy because she is the 2020 simply Kenna ambassador and what I do once a year I do a giveaway that's called here because of so persons who are already subscribed to my channel they would use their marketing skills their marketing strategies to bring as many people as they can to my channel within a time period and the persons who they bring they have to subscribe to my channel and then they comment in the comment section here because of whoever brought them and the most here because of I see that person who brought them would be the Simply Kenna ambassador for that particular year. Next, I would, let me see what else I have. Oh, review products or brands and tag them whether on Instagram or Facebook. So for instance, especially if there are local, like wherever you are, if it's a small, um, a small brand purchase their product review the product tag them on Instagram or Facebook using the product and in most cases they would repost or give some sort of um shout out to you trying their product and because of this persons would now be like who's this person trying this person's product okay they have a YouTube channel and then they will click on your Instagram, then go to your YouTube and be like, oh, okay, and then they would subscribe. So it's really good to try a lot of small owned, small businesses, um, products, try a lot of products that belong to small businesses and that would help grow your subscribers. I hope you see the link. I hope so. Yeah, I think I was clear. <laughs> and it's a win-win for them as well because they actually get exposure when you try out products on your platform persons persons might message you and ask what's the product about um how well did it work or oh, i want to try that product so it's it's a win-win you get subscribers you get traffic you get views they also get customers so it, this one is really a win-win this one um let me see how i can explain this for instance if i'm doing a I'm trying to sell toward this so I'll use hair related a hair related topic um how to flat twist let's get back to my loop mm -hmm. how to flat twist if you just go on um search for how to flat twist then they would have a lot of YouTube videos with how to flat twist focus on those with small um, views those with big views it's just a waste of your time focus on those with a small view 
usually that those are the persons with a small um with small subscribers small subscriber count sorry so what you do that's usually a small channel click on them go on go on the video look at it and if you like it like it um check out the rest of the content subscribe to them and then you can just comment on to, under the most recent video um i'm a new subscribe or say subby to say i'm a new subby um i well if the twist i mean don't lie okay if you like the twist out then you say if you don't just don't comment on it they um under the 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 thing so if you like the with the hair turned out you would comment oh your hair turned out nice um i'm also a small youtuber trying to grow my channel and you could tell them to check out your content and to return the love sub back and in most cases if they have under a thousand subscribers they are going to subscribe to you because they would see you subscribed all right so most likely they're going to subscribe to you as well in most cases so that's also a quick way to and a strategic way to grow your channel but make sure it's someone channel that you actually like because you don't want to flood your youtube with just random people that you don't even watch and never going to watch them again so find persons who you're generally genuinely interested in who have a small amount of subscribers similar um channel and then comment sub on their channel tell them you subbed and ask to return the love and that that helps that grows your channel as well your channel and the last thing is pray very simple but it's very real and it is the most of all of these it's the one that it's the most effective like I, I god please help me to reach such and such amount of subscribers by this time lord i would like this amount of views make this video get more than you know to be specific with him sometimes he answers it the way i want sometimes he doesn't but the thing is i am increasing in subscribers my channel is doing well and i thank him so much so if you forgot everything I say, remember this one. Pray over your channel, pray over the success of a YouTube channel. And I guarantee once it's for you and it's within his will, your channel is going to grow. Now, I hope that these tips helped you. Actually, I know that these tips will help you. So try them out. And if you did, comment below when they have worked. When have worked. What am I saying? Comment below and tell me when they work for you. And tell me probably how many subscribers you had before and how much you have now by implementing these um, tips. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day and God bless.